And what are some things that uh, people should keep in mind if they're marrying a Thai wife? Um, that's a hard one because it depends on what your cultural foundation is. Um, for a lot of people who are very Western based, I think a lot of things would be very strange to them. Um, but for people who are more Asian or Polynesian based, I think that it would be very simple for them to to make the correlations between the cultures and and work through it um, because you know there's certain things uh, like when you marry into a family, you marry into a family, whereas with Western culture, you married person not necessarily the your in-laws uh, but over here you're married into the family and to me that's a positive that's a real good thing because uh, you know you you automatically have family over here for a lot of Westerners they might be very uncomfortable with the fact that the sister-in-law, brother-in-law, or father-in-law, mother-in-law will be always interacting with their wife and, you know, sometimes needing things and uh, you need to contribute to that and all of that. And it's a little bit different in Western society. And so, you know, it, it depends a lot on your cultural foundation. Yeah, and I think that's a controversial topic too, is that uh, when sometimes your Thai family may ask like oh would you be able to help out with this or that some people they might think is like oh are they trying to use me but at the same time you have to think about it like if you have the funds and you can afford it i mean it's kind of nice to help out the person that you're married to their parents right exactly i mean that's how i see it is like you know you should help out your uh, your wife's parents right oh exactly <laughs>